Lindsay, it's almost time for a new school year and whether you're attending class online or at home, that means school supplies and starting today, you'll get a break on the price. Good morning, Washington's Kristen Powers is live in Woodbridge to explain. Victoria, hey, good morning. So in Prince William County, I'm here at Ripon Middle School. Usually kids here and across Virginia, they'd have that exciting back to school list. They would head to the store with their parents and fill up that cart. This year, it might look a little bit different because you may not need all of these. You may need some other items because around Virginia, most school districts are doing a virtual start. But the good news is it's not just school supply items that are on this list. So here's what is all included within this sales tax free weekend. Again, this starts today, goes until Sunday. You can still get those school supply items as long as they're $20 or less per item. That includes things like backpacks and calculators. And we are in the middle of a pandemic. So I looked through that entire list and I did notice hand sanitizer and disinfectant wipes are included. So if you can find them, you can get them. This also includes things like clothing and shoes as long as the items are $100 or less. And again, I looked at that list. One thing I did not see are face masks. Now the Virginia Retail Federation says usually they get really excited about this weekend and they still are and they're trying to remain optimistic. But this year it is likely to look a lot different. This year, you know, with kids not going back to school, at least the first nine weeks, um, it's it's gonna it's gonna be challenging. There's gonna be a lot of school unnecessary school supplies that they would normally get. Um, there's gonna be you know there will be probably a lot of new clothes and shoes bought um, until you know they go back, which we don't know when that's gonna be. So it's just one more hit for twenty and twenty twenty for business owners and retailers. Yeah, so a lot still unknown with back to school, but again, you may still need some supplies. The good news again, this is not just back to school items. So coming up in the next half hour, we did just experience some storms. We're going to talk about those emergency preparedness items that are also on the list. In Woodbridge, I'm Kristen Powers for Good Morning Washington. Back to you.